Wall Farmer Jesse here. Not that the world needs another bubbler video, but I made a bubbler, this thing, for about a hundred bucks, including the shop vac. And I want to talk about how effective it is on a small scale, some of the pros and cons with it, and um, that sort of stuff. So if it's something that you want to build, maybe you just have a small system or want a small system or want an affordable system, whether or not this is the bubbler for you. So let's do it. All right, so first things first. Why, bub why a bubbler? A bubbler essentially just bubbles off. It's a bubbling mechanism in your water tank that bubbles off any sort of debris or maybe bugs or whatever's on your greens, right? And so we have a lot of debris. I've talked about this in a previous video when I talk about the downsides of our no-till system is that debris often gets inside of, and I'm talking about mulch, often gets inside of the lettuce. You've seen it in the washback video, I talk about uh, the little blue barrels that we use and these little blue barrels I love because they're so portable and I can move them and I like being able to move my system. Um, so I decided to build a smaller, more mobile version of a bubbler. And I found that a lot of people use a shop vac. So I built a shop vac bubbler. Essentially PVC pipe, you know, just 90 degree angles. Got a little T coupler there and uh, some PVC pipe. And this piping is actually a uh, one and a half inch and this is what I had around, but I love it because it actually fits right on the shop vac end. Holes drilled right through there. Pretty simple, nothing complicated. I fit it, I measured it exactly to fit in those blue barrels to where it would fit snugly so that it would stay down. I saw that some people have issues with it just kind of floating up and down. I wanted it to be a tight fit, so uh, I measured it to be pretty tight. And um, that actually works out really well. Uh, I bought a shop vac. Just a regu your regular old shop vac. Nothing complicated about that. Uh, shop vac is the brand. And um, you have to, if you wanna do this system, you have to buy the shop vac that has output too, that you can actually hook it up as a blower. That's critical. Because it will also be, a va it can be a vacuum cleaner, but it also has a blowing mechanism, so it's good to be able to use that, right? Uh, and you have to be able to use it to use it as a bubbler. Uh, some of the pros, let's just start there. Pros are, it's affordable, it's really affordable. I think that, yeah, I said I built this for $100. I had some of this PVC pipe, but I had to buy the the uh, angles and the coupler here. Um, I mean, all in all, that with the shop vac, 100 bucks, not bad. That's pretty cheap for any sort of tool that I'm gonna use as much as I'm gonna use this one for as long as I'm gonna use this one. Another pro is that I really like the mobility. I like that it's a small shop vac, it's really light. I can move it all over my shop depending on how we want to renegotiate our wash pack station. That's great. Another pro is that it's super effective. Very effective. It does the job. It, if you put too much in my, with my system, cat, with my system, if you put too much lettuce in there, I noticed, too dense, then it won't bubble it that well. So maybe that could be improved by just having a bigger tub to put all this in. But for the most part, for my system, it worked out pretty well for bubbling, doing what I needed it to do. Some cons are that it's loud. It's a loud system. That shop vac is extremely loud and I'm probably gonna have to build some sort of box, unless you all have any good recommendations for this, some sort of box to fit it. I mean, it, it's like running a vacuum cleaner, straight up. It's like running a vacuum cleaner, like an 80s vacuum cleaner. Another con is my small barrels that I think are roughly 20 gallons, it almost is a little bit too powerful. So that's not necessarily a con, but it is a con for my system that I'd probably want something, a bigger barrel to be able to better utilize that. Like if you want to use small barrels, um, for me, I like it because I don't have to set up a drain. I like having a mobile system. I don't want to set up a permanent system. I like having something that I can move around and reshape however the season calls for. So 
I like the I like the small barrels, but it is kind of powerful for that. So we've actually talked about putting a ball valve up here, plugging it in to the top, and then actually cranking that up and down to let in how much pressure we want or don't want. So that could be an option is just to modify it a little bit. Um, and I kind of like that, that could work too. So it may not be a con, it's just something to think about. Other than that, overall, I really like it. I think it's a great system. It does pretty much everything I needed to and uh, was relatively affordable. I don't know how long that shop vac will hold up. Uh, we're sanitizing this really well by putting sanitizer through here, running it through and then running the air pressurize, pressurizing it. Um, that's kind of my method right now, but that may be a con too is that it's kind of hard to actually sanitize it, make sure that you keep, keep it sanitary, which is extremely important to us. So you could probably do this without the cement. You could probably just push this thing together and it would hold, but I, I don't know, I haven't tried that. So uh, that's just something that may, whatever, not be perfect. May not be something that everybody would want to do. Everything I've read, that stuff is not toxic, but it's also like a alcohol glue based thing. So uh, other than that, you all, that's it. Short video. Like this video if you like this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. A couple more podcasts and that's it. All right. Thanks, you all. We'll see you later. Bye. You want to help me do some drilling? Yeah. Okay, let me get it started. Okay. I'm going to go. Okay, go for it. Ah! Don't do it yet. We'll probably get it set. Okay, now.